channel we cover all things true crime so today's gonna be uh true crimey uh, a little bit of juice there's definitely no clickbait in this it is true i have spoken to joe exotic and i was threatened last year i'm going to for the first time show everyone what happened which is um going to be interesting so please share this out on your social media um because this is going to be very interesting for some of you, a lot of you. Um, but I will say it's not Joe that threatened me. It's someone else that you would have seen if you saw the Tiger King. So I want to say hello to everyone. Welcome in to Allison, Miss Murder, Emily, Stephanie S, Jay Suarez, Summer, Breaking the Silence, Samantha. Samantha, I'm so sorry for what's happened with your loss. I'm thinking of you. Hey, um... Duke K311. I hope everyone's having a good day or night wherever they are. It's one o'clock here in Australia. Um, and I haven't been live for two weeks. I've been really sick. Um, I have a lot of chronic illnesses and one of them's just been flaring up a lot. I haven't had access to one of my medications, but hopefully in the next week or so I will. Um, and I'll be back to creating more content. I do want to do more edited videos though, because I do enjoy the work behind that i've been working furiously on the next true crime spotlight which i've put a lot of love and attention into um and i hope that you guys enjoy that as well we are also streaming on we are streaming on youtube periscope and d live and after the live has finished this will be uploaded as a podcast as well to all of your favorite podcast apps so you can listen to that on there as well and a big hello to anyone who's listening to the replay afterwards don't forget to say hello um in the in the comments at the whilst you're listening so sorry to hear you have um chronic illnesses as well some it's just it's really debilitating a month ago i lost my my fur baby my my bella and around the same time i ran out of one of my um, medications and it's just been such a really rough road and then you know this whole uh you know c word Thing that's going around um you get youtube doesn't like it if you say the word but we know what's going on with everything and that's really difficult as well but i'm hoping to be back to to um going live and creating content in the next week or so so thank you for being patient with me as well so where does joe this whole joe exotic thing start for me it doesn't start at the documentary it doesn't start at the series hey Anne marie um 
for me, it starts a couple of years ago. I saw the Justin Thoreau um, documentary. I can't remember what it was called. It was about exotic animals in the US and and it was absolutely fascinating. If you haven't seen it, please have a little look out for it. Um, so I watched that and became fascinated by Joe Exotic. I thought he was just such a character um, and I did lots of research into him. When I started doing my change directions of my YouTube channel last year and started doing true crime and stuff, I thought I would do um, a live on Joe Exotic and the world of um, that he lives in the big cat rescue exotic animal world which is very very intense as you can all tell um so i've been following this for years and years so it's really interesting to me to now see everyone realize the insanity that is um exotic and the exotic animal industry in america um Jay Suarez, try and test that now or, or, or I'll test it. I'll see if Streamlabs is working now. So I've always wanted to contact Joe. I was waiting until after his sentencing. It took him a long time to be sentenced. So after his sentencing, I was hoping um, to send him some mail but I discovered that he was using um, a mail messaging service over the internet. So I thought I'll just shoot him a couple of messages. And I did hear back from him. I will show you those messages in a little bit. Unfortunately, what's happened in the last week is that uh, he's actually been moved to federal prison. So he was in um, a county. Let me just check which, let me check which jail it was because I have it written down phone but he was transferred out of state to a federal prison in Fort Worth Texas he was in I can't remember off the top of my head Brady County Jail he was in a county jail and obviously his um charges are federal so after sentencing he was going to be moved um I still want to write to him actual letters but Unfortunately, at the moment, I don't think that a lot of um, letters are being given to inmates because of what's going on with current events. Um, so, yeah, we did have a little chat. Um, and he does want to do an interview, but I'm sure that he's being... He's in quarantine at the moment. He will be in quarantine for 14 days. It's not because he's sick because he was moved prisons it's the um regulation now so yes thank you jay suarez it's so if you want to watch um a documentary from years ago it's called america's most dangerous pets and it's done by um, british journalist justin thoreau um he's he's a brilliant journalist and it's fascinating and it's what got me interested in joe i used to watch joe's youtube channel all the time before all the videos got taken down i don't know whether they are up or not um at the moment and then um i watched i watched his wedding online and i think i also watched um travis's funeral online as well so always been fascinated by him i did a live stream on him last may and it got 30 views it was just when i was starting um so it, it wasn't really a big deal. But after the live, I got an email from someone connected to all of this. And they actually threatened me and threatened to sue me um, because of my video. But it wasn't because of what everyone would think. I'm going to show you the email in a second. But I just want everyone in the chat, let me know if you have seen the Tiger king on netflix or not give me a, a one in the chat if you've seen the tiger king documentary series or a two if you haven't let's see hey bunny bubs yep 
because in order to understand the threat that I was given, and I'll show you the email soon, uh, you have to know the players in this. And so you'll know the person once I, um, hey everyone on Periscope. Periscope, a dude that loves cats. Oh, you poor thing right now. Samantha hasn't seen it. Okay. So Samantha probably won't understand. So most people have seen it. Okay. All right. I'm actually a bit nervous to do this. So I did the stream. I was so new to this and I didn't, I didn't know. And I was, I was threatened and I took the videos down. Um, I think, did I, I think I left them unlisted so I can give you guys links if you want to. Um, and those, just in case, because I've seen some comments before online, it doesn't show any animal abuse in the, the Tiger King um, series. There's not really any. It's not like um, don't F with cats or anything like that. I will say that there's more to this that hasn't been revealed. So who, okay, give me a one in the chat if you know who Jeff Lowe is. Give me a two in the chat if you don't know who Jeff Lowe is. Now, for my own um, sake, what I'm going to say is that this is a discussion and I'm discussing past events with you guys. Um, this is not an attack on anyone. Um, this is what happened to me when I was covering all of this. Um, and he's, I would now consider him a public figure. So, I am allowed to talk about this. 